you know, I try to make sure my forms within the outline. So if you consider all the sort of internal forms within this glass, you know, I try to make sure that, you know, when I'm painting stuff, I, I don't let my outlines or any, any sort of lines that I have get too, too hard. Um, you know, so, so, so even when I do have a line here, you know, it, it's not just, you know, I just take paint and drag it across and sort of leave it. You know, I work it in and around the paint next to it to create a sort of softness. Um, you know, in general, when I'm painting forms, you know, anything internal, in other words, within the borders of the, this glass or any object, I, I, I want to make sure I don't get too, too sharp and crisp and, and hard on, on the details. Uh, you know, sharp, hard lines with very, you know, sharp, um, you know, contrast and so forth. I, so I try to just be conscious of, of you know, making sure those aren't too cut out and too, you know, you know, too crisp, because I think they can start to take on a, a sort of a, f a fake sort of look to them. There's a little bit of a highlight right along here, so just pop that in. painting across the form rather than just making one working a little bit of white into the edge just to sort of wrap the form. You know, and I'll make sure I check my mirror every once in a while. It, it's really, um, you know, a very, very useful tool. So, you know, I've, I've talked about it before, but don't, don't forget to use the mirror. You know, really what you're looking for is, you know, when you look in the mirror, you compare it. You just want to compare to what, you know, your image and what you're seeing there. Just get them in the same frame and just look back and forth and, you know, notice any, any big differences in, in what's on your canvas compared to, um, uh, you know, what, what you're painting from. Uh, so that, that's kind of what I, I do throughout the day. You know, I'll grab my mirror, you know, and I'll do, I'll do a little check and I'll say, okay, you know, that, that drawing looks a little you know, it looks like it needs some work or that color is not bright enough or, you know, uh, the, I need to work on that value a little bit. So, I, I, you know, the mirror helps you spot those things because, you know, s sort of standing in front of this all day, um, you get kind of, you just get kind of um, immune to any problems it has. Um, so it's a good way to, this is a good way to sort of help correct that. So. I'm going, to, I'm going to move down to the reflection here. Um, you know, the thing to keep in mind is this, it's a reflection, you know, this sort of amber glass, you know, this yellowish sort of amber glass. So that, that color will factor in, but you also have to consider that it is reflecting onto a white, it's a white sort of plastic surface, okay? 
and that's going to influence the color. So, uh, you know, it'd be very easy for me to paint this uh, sort of darker than it actually is. Um, what I like to do is, you know, an, you know a trick that I've, I've, you know, been using for a long time um, is uh, not so much squint, but if you, if you look at your object, um, what you're painting, and you throw your eyes out of focus, you know, close one eye, th throw the other one out of focus a little bit so it gets a little fuzzy, um, you know, it, it eliminates a lot of detail and it just helps you sort of see the value a little simpler and cleaner. Um, I find that a really useful trick. So, um, you know, I would, I would recommend that to everybody. Um, and in this, it really diminishes a lot of the detail and the value, you know, the, the, you know, staring into that reflection, it'd be very easy to think it's pretty dark, but when you sort of just fuzz your eyes a little bit, you can see it's actually not as dark as you think, so. using the side of the brush just to mass it in a little faster and thinner too. Using the side of the brush you sort of scrape and pull the paint okay as opposed to you know if you're if you're pushing in with the tip of the brush it gets a more solid application you can see it's a little more opaque it covers the surface more and as opposed to you know using the side you're gonna tend to scrape and pull and spread that paint a little bit more so um, you know you sort of use um, use the brush, you know, appropriately. Um, if you need to, um, you know, change the way you're using it, um, you want you want to be able to do that. There's not, um, you know, when you're painting, um, you know, they don't always teach you in school sort of every little thing. I mean, a lot of it you just have to learn on your own. And, and part of that is, you know, how to use brushes. Um, you know, as the painter, you want to be in control of your tools, your equipment, um, you don't want to be, you don't want them to dictate to you what you can do. So um, I think that's really important is, you know, having a, a comfort level and a mastery with them, uh, with your tools, so that you can sort of get them to do what you need them to do, not the other way around. Um, so um, you notice I just laid in a very sort of light value here. Um, I'm going to go and work that a little bit more with a bigger brush. Um, you know, I've, I, the, you know, with this painting, which is kind of nice, I've, I haven't had to use a ton of brushes. You know, I'm, I'm, I am the type of painter that I'll, I'll use any type of brush that's necessary to get the job done. Um, you know, I have some really old, beat-up brushes like these that are just, you know, sort of, you know, worn down. The, these brushes, God knows how old they are, and they're worn down to nothing. Um, you know, I'll use pretty much anything that is, is required to get the job done, you know, but there is a sort of, when, when you are using all these different brushes, you know, there's a, it's a, you know, there's a level of experimentation. You're, you're trying to create different effects and um, rather than just sort of use the same sort of, same brush for everything and get the sort of same look. So that, that's, that's one thing. Um, uh, you know, you'll find that, you know, it is okay to experiment and, and you want to, you do, you, you know, you do want to be able to, um, you know, use different brushes and, um, you know, don't be afraid to try different things, you know, using palette knives and, um, you know, very beat up old brushes and they, they can definitely, they have their uses. So that's why I don't throw them out and that's why I have you know, hundreds of brushes, 
because I know at some point I may need them.